Hello guys, today we have my first puzzle of 2022 and it is white to draw the game. So you can see white's down a piece and if we take on d5, it seems to be the best move. After bishop d6, c7, bishop takes and after d6, it kind of looks like a draw but black has bishop b6, which actually wins the game last second as black will sacrifice his bishop. So in this position, white would be losing, so instead white plays move knight to g6. And let's say we, black takes and takes, then white will just sacrifice all his pawns and force a stalemate. And let's say we protect the knight. If we take, we push the pawns. And after white pushes his pawn, a2 will be stalemate. So black can't even get a queen. But after we take, we win a piece. And now white can force perpetual check, but can also force a very cool stalemate here. So instead, black has to take on c6. And after we take on d5 and knight goes to b4 it looks like there's a free piece but if we take the free piece we actually blunder checkmate in two after knight c7 checkmate so instead we play the move knight to e7 check after king to c7 we play d6 and if bishop takes c6 we have knight d5 and if black takes it's stalemate and yeah after knight d5 if you move the king we take the knight if black takes with the pawn, it's also stalemate. But if black moves the king, white can perpetual check and force a very cool stalemate as well. So instead, black's best move is king b6. And after d7, we have bishop c7 preventing the pawn, pass pawn. And after knight c8 check, we go back to e7. And let's say black pushes his pawn. Now we get a queen. And now knight to c6, we either win a piece or stalemate our king but after bishop a5 if we take then king takes a5 king b7 loses the game so after king b6 and yeah so king b6 and white's just up a piece and after bishop c7 white trades down all the pieces in the stalemate and if we have bishop b6 we take the free knight and after bishop e7 we take the free bishop so and and there's one trick for black after knight d5 we take the bishop on d8 and after king goes to b8, then white is actually losing if you take the free bishop. So we don't take the free bishop here. Rather, we play king b8, and taking the free bishop falls for the same trick. So instead, we have to force a perpetual check with knight b4 and knight d5. And if you want to slow down the video, go ahead, because I'm talking really fast. And that's after white promotes and black takes, then we trade take the pass pawn and after the only move knight f5 draws the game after a3 we fork the pawn after king e6 king d6 king b6 knight e2 is the only move to draw and knight c3 is the only move to draw and after knight d5 king d5 is the only move to draw because it looks like it falls for a fork but after this fork then black loses other pawn and it becomes a draw so if this is too fast for you see you guys later bye